Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan in the Haylet RV Newsroom, which, uh, basically just my office, regardless. Um, here with your, uh, I would say regular monthly recall report. Unfortunately, I'm running a little bit behind on this one. I do apologize for that. I try to work this content in my schedule when I can, but we've been receiving a lot of new RV arrivals lately that has really dictated the majority of my time. I may try to start working this into more the middle of the month, doing it at the end of the month like I had been doing, has just caused too much to all happen at the same time in one deadline. Uh, deadline? Den deadline? Deadline. 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 <laughs> Regardless. Got our normal recall report for you today. As always, the goal of this is to help uh, not just original owners, because if this is your first time joining us, if you're the original owner of an RV and there's a recall, you should get a little notice in the mail from when your RV was registered. If you're, say, a second time owner, you bought it as a trade-in, you bought it from a private individual, you may not get these notices. And unless you go actively looking for them on something like the uh, NHSTA uh, website, National Highway Safety Transit Authority, I believe is what that stands for which is where I'm getting this information from, by the way, you're always able to check this on your own, or you can just, you know, tune in, subscribe, and check with us regularly as these things come out. So all that being said, let's let's get started here. First up today, we have uh, a good example of how, like, you hear RV recalls. And a lot of the times, the manufacturers, they really take the heat for this, because, like, you might hear manufacturer A, B, or C is issuing a recall. And don't get me wrong, Manufacturers are certainly not without their sins sometimes. Just like I've never said it, Halet RV, we're perfect. But this is a good example, kind of like uh, last month's uh, recall report. There's a huge RV propane regulator recall that went out. Well, that was a part supplier. That wasn't specifically a manufacturing thing. So sometimes remember, uh, pay attention to some of those things a little bit. It's not just manufacturing concerns. Sometimes it is pieces and parts. Like this one right here. There is a... Uh, a big bundle of uh, Class A motorhomes from, say, like Newmar, Integra, Thor Motor Coach, who are using a specific type of vented window from a company called Hair. And you used to see their windows all over the place in the towable RV industry. They, they make some very, very good products. And one of all of the things that they've ever made, I believe it's a 6400 series window, which probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you and me. But basically, there's a specific vented window that's commonly used on big, like, Class A bus-style motorhomes where it sounds like there's an adhesive in a certain aspect of that window, which could cause a window panel to fall out when you're going down the road, which, <laughs> you know, obviously uh, not good just for the, the physical condition of your RV, but you don't want a window falling on the windshield of the family next to you. Now, uh, still in the world of motorhomes, it looks like Tiffin has put out a, uh, a recall on a specific series of Wayfair motorhomes dating back about five years, where basically... Uh, continued stress on some of the, the frame to hitch rail extension kind of jobs could potentially cause it to detach and whatever you're towing behind you could go with it and, uh, you know, right out into the flow of traffic. Um, it does sound like they're on kind of the early cusp of figuring out what they're doing about this. And any of these uh, recalls that I, I'm mentioning, I am putting more detailed information down in the video description. Sometimes it'll include things like, here's the customer's service support numbers uh, for the factories involved. Here's the recall number if one's been associated, things like that. Uh, Eclipse RV, who makes uh, toy haulers and fifth wheels, has uh, issued a recall relating to uh, some Dometic stoves and ovens used in some of their uh, RVs where I think this is another maybe supplier-related item, where it sounds like there might be something over-tightened, which is causing a, an O-ring uh, sealed gasket to potentially allow a potential propane leak into the RV, which, you know, you don't want to turn the RV into a bomb, nor do you want to be breathing that stuff if you can help it. Heartland has actually uh, recently issued a recall on um, some North Trail uh, ultralight models that they make, where it sounds like the, um, the two-way refrigerator roof vent, which allows some fumes and some things like carbon monoxide to escape may not have been quite routed properly. It may not be breathing properly effectively, which not only could that potentially affect the function of the fridge, but could also pose maybe a, a fire hazard from a uh, heat buildup or a potential uh, human life and safety aspect by the buildup of carbon monoxide. Now that I think about that, if that's a North Trail recall, that would also have to apply 
to um, Mallard RVs. If you weren't aware, here's another little tidbit for you. North Trail and Mallard are effectively the same RV, just with a different sticker put across the front. Uh, over in the world of uh, automotive, uh, because if I see something on like uh, a towing truck uh, that, that could potentially, you know, be of interest to an RVer, because you figure most towable RVers um, while well, they're using a vehicle to tow the towable RV, uh, there's, uh, I, I try to point those things out when I see them. Um, the uh, Ford has issued a recall for a specific combination of F-350 Super Duties, I think this is a 6.7 uh, uh, liter diesel, and was it the Dana 275 axle, something like that? But a specific combination of F-350 engine and axle where the, the drive shaft could basically, the, the rear drive shaft may not be sufficient for the total stress and torque and load that uh, that truck and a, and a uh, heavy load could throw at it, and it could basically cause it to separate, which means you lose power, you're unable to, you know, have full control over the vehicle, and you can't, <laughs> can't make it go. Uh, it's obviously a very significant safety item when you're flying down the road, and those things, uh, in any of these recalls, by the way, once they're issued, these are things that get addressed for you at no charge, which is nice. And if you're noticing, I think it's actually really cool that a lot of manufacturers will go back several years to find out when this first started, because I think that there are times where manufacturers could theoretically, legitimately just go, eh, it's out of our warranty period, it's in God's hands now. I really... I, I don't like seeing that manufacturers have to put out recalls, but I do like seeing that manufacturers are interested in safety and not just, what am I legally on the hook for here? Those are encouraging things to me. Road Trek has put out a recall uh, for some gas detectors used in some of their uh, little coaches. It, I don't know if somebody maybe ordered the wrong batch of things or if they were maybe supplied the wrong batch of things, but basically a wrong gas detector was installed in some of these and it may not be detecting everything that it's supposed to, like carbon monoxide, and that's definitely something you don't want a detector not detecting. Yeah. And uh, again, I don't like having to put out any recall information, but... I, I do try to be fair, even if it's a brand we carry here at Halid RV. Like, uh, Jayco's recently put out a uh, recall on a small number of Whitehawks, where it sounds like the electrical box on it may not be properly grounded and might be zippity-zapping people a little bit. It's a simple copper wire thing that dealers can put on to get it grounded. But big deal, small deal, small number of models or not, I like it again when manufacturers step up, acknowledge, and take care of these things for people. Now, um... I just noticed a similarity here. We talked about how uh, Eclipse RV had a recall out on some of their uh, RVs where a stovetop O-ring, something could be over tight and it could allow a gas leak. I see the exact same thing here on some Arctic Fox and Nash RVs. And I noticed too that these are both West Coast brands. So I'm, I'm estimating, now I'm not trying to downplay anything. This is a significant issue. I'm glad it's being issued and there's notes in the video description. But this looks to me, this is probably uh, a West Coast supplied, uh, like, Dometic uh, stove situation that probably had a, uh, I don't know, undiagnosed issue at the time it was manufactured that then rolled through into the, uh, the build of the RVs. And that's, again, where I said sometimes you see supplier-related issues. Actually, in this batch, I haven't seen... A large number of like manufacturing build oversights. It's been a couple pieces and parts, but the trick is like it, uh, one parts company supplies multiple manufacturers. So if there's an issue, a safety item on a part, well, it can affect thousands of RVs. Like that regulator recall uh, on my last recall report, that LP regulator, I, I bet that there were hundreds of thousands of RVs affected by that over the course of many, many years, of course. And that's what I got for you today. Uh, again, I'll, I'll I, I do my best to try to get these out on a more regular basis. Hopefully I can uh, start doing these more regularly around the middle of the month. But again, this is extra stuff uh, I do when I can, as I can here. And sometimes as the new RVs roll in, just my, there, there's days I, I can't check my email uh, for three or four days in a row until I finally manage to get caught up, you know. I, you see me wearing one hat here, but I wear a lot of different hats at Halid RV, but I, I do really like to get this information out because I, I believe very heavily in keeping folks safe. I want to keep you, your families, I want to keep you safe, I want to keep you on the road. Whether you 
specifically purchased from Halid RV or not, I really appreciate all the support that our viewers get. And I, I put this out as a courtesy. So if you're in say like a, a, a social media camping group or something like that, that any of this would potentially apply, please share this, spread the message, help other people be safe because we are a community. And that is one of the biggest things that I, I, I really feel about camping. I don't care what you bought. I don't care where you're, you got your appetite. I don't care where you went for dinner. <laughs> I, I want everybody to be safe because it's camping supposed to just be about having a good time. The last thing I think anybody wants is to worry about a window falling out or, oh my God, is my RV going to turn into a bomb? Nobody wants that. So spread the message, continue to tune in, and as always, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone. Do not read this sign.